one foot and mouth to worry about. There's a few, uh, sorry, there's a new epidemic set to break loose. Rose, can't breathe. Ten more minutes. We haven't got ten minutes. She's going for respiratory arrest. Right, we better stabilise her here. Get the IV adrenaline out of my bag. I'll get the oxygen. Shepherd is here. It's lovely to meet you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you for having me on today. So Pleasure. Next warm week. studio city, isn't it? It rather really is, yes. Out in the open air. I'm glad I've got my T-shirt on, which is my Save the Children He didn't waste any time, did he? Right yeah. in there. Straight in with Save the Children. Are okay. you working for Save the Children? Oh. I am not working for Save the Children. I'm supporting Save the Children. That's this is I mean, yeah. one in four, which is one in four children in the world live in poverty. Really? 600 million children, and we want to change those odds. When is the big Save the Children Day or week? It's the 29th of April yeah. and it's for a week. And what we're asking for today is for collectors. We're not asking for money, we're asking for collectors. House to house collections, street collections. 7p basically can buy enough food for a child in Ethiopia to live for one day. 7 pence? 7p. Seven so you can't say I haven't got any change on me. Yeah. Any pennies in your well, pocket? Well, you shouldn't be you? embarrassed about saying I haven't got any change on me put if you know in. that you've got 10 p in. yeah no exactly put a note in but if you know you've got 10 p in just put it in right. think how much you can collect in an hour if you want to help how can you you can call a number which i have written on my hand right it's 0845 we've got it on a strap as well 606 4027 please do it now and this is for one week and uh, just one week we're looking for collectors yeah we really need these collectors last year we collected five hundred thousand pounds and I think that we can do more this week. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Yeah. April the what? April the 29th, May the 5th. And okay. The final day is that Saturday, May the 5th, isn't it? Yeah, so it. all those people who jangle um, tins outside the supermarket yeah. in car parks and street corners, that's the big day. That's the big day. But you can also do it, if you can't, if you can't face doing that, you can say that you will collect envelopes uh, from people's yes, houses. Home, so, yeah. you know, it's uh, how can we get involved in this then? Um, is this uh, something what, that's always been close to you. Is it one of your nominated kind of charities that you've always worked for? Yes, it's, I, I mean, I get asked to do a lot of charity, uh, and uh, I've got, same as you, I've got a lot of children. You've got don't, four, haven't I've you? got four, yes. Don't have one on the way, though. No. Um, <laughs> and I have nominated certain children's charities. I could be doing charity uh, every weekend of the year, but, you know, I have a life It's the privilege of your position, isn't it? You get a lot of requests, I'm sure. Yes. And it's easier to focus on an area that you would really like to help. Yes. And well, I feel I had a very privileged and happy childhood, and I hope that my children have the same. And I think that we have a responsibility. Children deserve education. They have the right to education, health care, clean water, you know, all the things that we take for granted in this country. Uh, in, indeed, so the children work in this country it's as well. Isn't it? So many uh, impoverished children are one in four in this day and age. It's just not, it's not good enough. Not on. No, Did you see isn't. a report on the news last night in India where they had that terrible earthquake a couple of months yeah. ago? And they have nothing. And there's some row between the government and the, the contractors who are supposed to be clearing the rubble and rebuilding as to who's going to pay. So they've stopped. Yeah. So and there are children who've lost a parent and they're living on these rubble tips. Yeah picking through to find Definitely. a bit of fabric to give to somebody, yeah. or to sell, or to... I, I, there's a story that I've read of uh, a girl called Linda in Angola, mm. and through terror, she and her family are living in poverty now. They've gone away from their hometown. And these children just want to tell their stories. The Save the Children people are very clear that that's what the children want to do. They just want to tell their stories. Her story, basically, she doesn't have the same rights that all of us have. Mm. She lives in dirty rags. She's, not a, she's 14, she's not allowed to go to school because she has to look after her, her brothers and sisters. You know, normal human rights. She has no clean water. All she wants, she says, all I want is to be normal like yes. everybody else. Give them a chance. We don't know we're uh, born, do we? No, we, we don't. We have a we misery really don't. if we, you know, we haven't got enough yeah, petrol in the car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we really but don't. anyway, talking of, of children, and you've 
done it very well, yeah. David Jordan Thank Rumpf, May. Thank you, from fact to fiction, um, really. Yes, yeah. in peak practice, we see the, 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 the clip we saw earlier is from next week's show, which is the last of this kind yes, of Yes, that's right, yes. Yeah. Uh, very with tropical a little baby well, with measles. It? And this is a big number because mums are... Very worried about it. it. Yeah, this yeah. MMR. MIR. Yeah. It's MMR, is it? Yeah, measles yeah. MMR. Measles rubella. Yeah. There are a lot of people thinking it could cause autism in children yeah. once they're given the injection. And so a lot of people aren't vaccinating their babies anymore, are they? No, I think, uh, I think it's a very difficult problem. Um, I think that you, you have to get as much information, don't you? I mean, I'm presumably you're going through the same. Absolutely. You know, it's, you have to get are all your children vaccinated? Um, not all of them, but, it's, but I mean, it, it's, it's a question of finding out as much information as you can and then making your decision, and the only way that you can do that is to follow government guidelines and talk to your GP. Um, I think that's, and read as much as you can, it's right. really difficult. So the programme has tackled it and shown both sides. So let's have a look at a clip again of uh, next Thursday's show, isn't it? Right. Yes. Dr Preston. Hello. I was hoping to book a date to talk to the parents about vaccines. I'm pretty worried about their uptake on meningitis and MMR. Well, you know what we think about vaccines. They need to know the facts. I know the facts, Dr Preston. The fact is I had a perfectly healthy nephew till he added MMR jab. And last year he was diagnosed with autism. Yes. I understand your concerns. If you want to speak to the parents of this nursery, can you contact them individually, please? Not here. Fair enough. Thank you. Do you think what happened there mirrors in what real life is? I mean, I, d mm. I mean, uh, you've got, I don't have the way that you a decision that you mm. have to make, but it seems to me that doctors seem to think it's okay, and there are loads of cases coming forward of people saying, "Well, my child was okay until for the vaccination." I think it's a terribly difficult. I don't difficult think there's question. any hard and fast. No, I don't think there yet. is. Yeah, it's a very nobody knows. Situation. I think it's very difficult. The, and the, but the thing the program has highlighted is that healthy children will get measles, and measles is life-threatening. Yeah. We forget mm. that. Yeah. And it's and measles um, was not wiped out in this country, but I mean it's such a rare occurrence, and mm. that will not that will not be the case. It's a very very difficult problem for, but for the individual, and, and it's actually the individual that has to make the choice. It's uh, and I think that everybody just has to read yes. as much as they possibly can yeah. and make their own choice. And we all want to protect our children and, and yeah, give them the best yeah. chances possible. Simon, thank you very much indeed. Thank Lovely you. to meet you. It's my mother's favourite programme. Great. Be very and pleased. We'll be back yeah. in the autumn. Back oh, in the great. autumn. Yeah. And great. yourself, we'll be yeah. Oh, and we'll know about whether she's all right with the we ovarian well. cyst. I don't know yet. So I, can't, I couldn't even oh. give you a hint on well, that. You should okay. just try to get that one in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's time you. now to announce uh, who's won our fantastic trip to Las Vegas. We got some.